Oven, windows and doors, and Dryers Lumber and Hardware. Visit Dryers Lumber and Hardware in Chatham, New Jersey today, or find us online at dryerslumber.com. This is an AccuWeather Alert from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And a very good morning to you. I'm Ken Rosado. And I'm Lori Sitz. It's 8 a.m. And our special coverage of the Nor'easter continues on this AccuWeather Snow Alert Day. Several inches of snow already coating parts of Tri-State. And it's not stopping anytime soon. Now, there are states of emergency uh, that have been announced and declared in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Subways are still shut down above ground. Buses are still running for now. LIRR is on a normal schedule. Metro North will be suspended at noon. And most of uh, New Jersey Transit rails are running on a weekend schedule. New Jersey Transit buses, they are shut down. In Connecticut, a travel ban issued by Governor Dana Malloy has been in effect now for most of the morning. And in New York, a tractor-trailer ban will begin at 9 a.m. Now we have a team of reporters out in the snow. We begin, though, with meteorologist Bill Evans. He's been tracking the storm all morning. Bill? Well, and here's our scene. You know, we have low visibilities. We've got blowing snow. We've got wind. It's still a nasty morning outside. And the snowfall amount have been five, six, seven so far. And we're looking at temperatures here that have been quite cold. It's 28, heavy snow. Look at that northeast wind, 28. And that's the sustained wind. So we're only a few miles off of uh, blizzard criteria. And the wind is increasing as we speak. So we kind of move that, uh, the, the line of the 12 inch snowfall just a little bit farther to our west here. So three to six Long Island here. We're looking at, uh, you know, trace to rain mix to ice down the Jersey Shore toward Atlantic City. And then just outside the city. We're still looking at those 6, 10, 12 numbers. And then, of course, in this colder air mass that's off above I-80, 287, and up around 684 to the throughway, we're looking at those higher snowfall amounts of a foot to two feet up toward Monticello. So the next thing going on is that we're at 8 o'clock. The high tide starts at 9. And so with that northeast wind coming in, that's going to create problems with the high tide. We also have a full moon out there. Uh, you can't see it, of course, but it, it is there. And that has an effect on the tides. The winds out of the northeast, 15 to 20, 30 miles an hour. These are the sustained winds now, so we're getting close to that criteria for a blizzard. Longer than three hours, sustained winds 35 miles per hour and higher. 39 at flushing the wind gusts in the last hour to 30 at JFK, 37, 38 down the shore here. So the snow line is just kind of creeping on up toward the south shore of Long Island to Fire Island here. And some rain here out across Smith Point. You know, those uh, 29 towns of Fire Island and now creeping on up into Monmouth County. The low center itself is just here down toward Delaware and will keep moving slowly out of the Atlantic. It'll keep spinning around snow and bringing up with it snow and rain as it creeps across Long Island. So it's really hugging the coast more so. Uh, than we had seen in the previous model runs up until late last night. Lee Goldberg had it last night talking about at 11 o'clock how close we'll get into this rain and this ice here on Long Island, coastal Connecticut, and down the Jersey Shore here. So the farther inland you go, the more snow there's going to be up above I-80, around 287 to 84 here, and up into northern Connecticut. So even you see by 3 o'clock, we're still getting this ice and rain mix here from the city eastward, and that's what will cut down on those snow totals. But as the storm leaves, leaves at 7 o'clock tonight after sunset. We still have some wraparound with that, and there'll be some snow showers as that exits and the temperature drops on off. We'll talk more about that in the cold weather coming out for the rest of the week in your AccuWeather forecast. Ken, Lori, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Bill. At 8.03, we take a live look now at Suffolk County. Uh, just moments from now, the Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone is expected to give us a news conference. Of course, when he does come to the microphones, we will go live to him and hear what he has to say about conditions in Suffolk County. Yeah, I had him on a little earlier, and he was talking about all the preparations they've done over the course of the, leading up to this storm and, and now realizing that it's taking on, you know, from the wet snow to the, to the rain and how they'll have to vary how they... Um, their plan of action. So we'll hear from him in a little bit. In the meantime, let's check in with Marcus Solis, who is in White Plains, Westchester County. Marcus? Well, Lori and Ken, we are getting this icy mix, and it is just really uh, driving those ice pellets into your face when the wind picks up. Uh, this coming after several hours of snowfall uh, that dumped a few inches here in White Plains. But as you see the roadway here and you see that plow going by, uh, there is some blacktop here. It didn't come down to the rate where they couldn't stay ahead of it. And so uh, crews, which have been out uh, all morning long, uh, have really been able to make some progress and remove a, a few inches of snow that have since 
since uh, accumulated the uh, since the snowfall started falling this morning. Now, bus service here in White Plains in Westchester, Beeline bus service has been canceled. Uh, it is postponed. Good morning. ¿A dónde va? Where are you going? Uh, voy a mi casa, estación de tren. Uh -huh. It's very cold, too much snow, man. Very cold, too much snow. You heard it here. AccuWeather in White Plains. Now, uh, we should say that they uh, possibly are walking. There's no bus service here in Westchester. And also, Metro North, as we've been reporting, will be uh, suspended as of noon. So it is definitely uh, rough going here. The uh, heavy snow has given way to an icy mix oh. uh, that makes me miss that heavy snow because <laughs> this is really, it's like, I guess it's like getting a facial, right? I mean, it's like beating uh, into no, your skin. No, a facial would be but, uh, pleasurable. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must confess, I've never really had one, but, um, uh, but yeah, so. so and that's yeah. just so happened that's since you. where we stand. Marcus, that's just happened since you've been out there, right? This changing in the, in the <laughs> texture of what's hitting your face. Oh, absolutely. It, uh, it changed about maybe a half hour, 45 minutes ago. Uh, when we uh, first came out here, it was snowing pretty good, and we thought, wow, this is really going to pile up fast, but that's now been held down quite a bit because we are getting that mix, and I think you see the progress, or the result of it is the progress they've been able to make on those roads. Now, you're in, I, I see the White Plains Diner behind you. I know that area well. I've eaten there probably a hundred times. That's on Westchester Avenue, so that's a main road. Have you seen any of the side roads? Are they pretty much in the same condition? We haven't uh, seen too many of the side roads here. Uh, they are a little bit. There are some buildings behind. Uh, they are. Uh, it's not down to blacktop as it is here on the main road, but they have been going around. Uh, the plows have really been patrolling this area uh, all morning, and uh, we. Uh, they're they're definitely in a little bit more snow covered than it is now, but. Uh, uh, the, the crews have been busy, it's, and they've been nonstop. All right, Marcus, thanks so much. Also, just want to note, right outside of our studio, we've seen the snow is picking back up. Remember, there's sure a little is. bit of a lull for maybe no. about a half an hour, but no. looking outside here at 67th and Columbus, 66th and Columbus, on the west side, um, the snow has started up again. Well, note that the temperature has dropped to 28 degrees. It was up to about 31 a little while ago, so... Uh, as Bill pointed out, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so did Amy, as the temperature fluctuates, this is going to happen. It is really coming down heavy right now outside our studios. Yep. Uh, at 807 right now, let's go to Road Cam 7. We have uh, Sandra Bookman. In Ramapo. Uh, yeah, Rockland County. How are things there right now, Sandra? Uh, yeah, we are, we're in Ramapo. On Camp Gore. Camp Gore Road. Uh, we wanted to get off some of the main roads just to take a look at these secondary streets. And I got to tell you, they are looking good. We have seen plows all over the roads here. There's a lot more snow here than what we've seen this morning. I think we're in a slightly higher elevation. And what seems to be falling is the sort of lighter, fluffier snow. Although, of course, I am not a meteorologist. I guess we all just kind of play one on, on, on TV sometimes. Um, Again, the roads are in pretty good shape, and once again, I can tell you there is not a lot of traffic, especially for 8 o'clock in the morning. Most of the vehicles we've seen are snow plows or police officers, uh, sheriff's deputies, sort of driving around, uh, you know, checking things out. But it looks like people are staying home, staying off the streets, um, which is really good advice. Of course, it is still slippery here, even though most of the roads have obviously been plowed uh, several times. And it's also a little distressing because you know we are in a part of the area that is just absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. it's really quiet today and as the the uh, work crews go about doing their work you get a chance to see just how pretty the snow can be uh, you know before we trample through it and, and really muck it up um, so again the roads look pretty good and hopefully folks stay off Work crews can keep it looking that way for most of the day. Back to you guys in the studio. I'm just a little curious, Sandra, from all the places you've been this morning, from starting out here in the city and going to Paramus, and then you were in Chestnut Ridge, and, um, and now here as well in Ramapo. Does it seem, what was the worst spot so far that, that you've had to traverse? Okay, I, you know, I have to be honest with you. I, I made a point earlier, Lori, um, 
that some of the exits just, it, it, it looked as if the, the uh, Salters and Sanders and the plows came through. They did the main roads, but nobody ever exited off the road. So you, when mm. you got ready to turn off the, the exits, and I think, what was that? Was it 17, no, off of 17, off of 34? Um, Am I getting that right, Fred? 304. 304. Some of those exits just, they were a little bit scary. Um, but for the most part, I think that, that what I've seen from the crews, they've done a really good job of, of keeping it, uh, we, keeping the roads clear. We've even seen a, uh, glimpses of blacktop at times, um, which means, you know, that that means they've been pretty consistent on plowing the roads. Yeah, you know, wave and honk and cheer on all those plow operators as you pass them right. by. They're that is a hard. lot of work. <laughs> and it is pretty. You're right, Sandra. Yeah, Thank you. Be careful. It's very pretty. Sure yeah. is. <laughs> pretty part of the tri-state area. All right, let's go on over to uh, Paramus, New Jersey, where Diana Rocco has been all morning long. How are things uh, progressing there, Diana? Hi, Ken. Uh, it's good out here. You know what? It's very quiet out here this morning. We're along Route 17, and people are staying off the roads like they've been told to do, and that's a very good thing. While we've seen a lot of plows out here, the plows are keeping up with the amount of snow that's been falling. Uh, we have seen a few cars on the road, but for the most part, it's been a real quiet morning. Now, if you see what I'm holding in my hand here, it's a, it's a ruler. I don't normally do this, but we've been having a discussion this morning about how much snow has been falling, so just out of our own curiosity because for a while it was coming down at a pretty good clip we wanted to see how much snow was actually uh, had actually fallen during the course of this morning and right now it's looking like we got a solid six inches here so um, there you go it started out really really heavy this morning it was coming down at a, the, the pace of about a few inches an hour you know it probably started around four um, really coming down around four. We got out here about two o'clock. There was already a covering on the road. By four o'clock, we saw a couple of inches on the ground. And just within the last, uh, what is it, eight o'clock now, four hours, we've seen another, you know, two to three. So it's been coming down at a pretty good pace here this morning. This is Route 17 in Paramus. Uh, about two hours ago, we saw an army of plows go by. There had to be at least nine of them. And they really just cleared the entire road. Uh, within the last hour or so, there's been one or two more really doing maintenance here. You can see there's a good covering on the roads, but the cars are getting by. The few of them that are on the road this morning are actually making some good progress. Oh, a Amy, the devil. Uh, here they come excuse again. Excuse me, Diana, Diana this we're going to get back to you. Diana, that Diana been... we're going to get back to you because we have to go live to Suffolk County where Suffolk County Executive <laughs> Steve Ballone is about to speak. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here at the COMAC uh, Department of Public Works yard. I'm here with a number of our uh, officials from the emergency management team, our police commissioner, Tim Sini, uh, fire rescue emergency services, Joe Williams, our deputy commissioner there, John Jordan, as well as our Department of Public Works team. Uh, I want to thank uh, our crews that are out there uh, working hard and have been out uh, overnight uh, working hard. Our commissioner, um, uh, Gil Anderson, our deputy commissioner, Tom Vaughn, and uh, our highway uh, superintendent, uh, Cliff Mitchell. So uh, we talked a lot about the fact that, that there was uncertainty with this storm, given that we are on the edge of the storm. And I can say this morning there is still uncertainty as exactly to uh, what uh, we are receiving. What is clear is that there is less accumulation uh, than uh, forecasts had predicted uh, potentially occurring here. But as we said, uh, the storm could shift either way. Um, because we were on the edge and it appears it has continued on a, a westward track uh, so that we're getting less hit on the east end and, and uh, on the western end of the county, particularly the northwestern end of the county is where uh, we are uh, seeing the most impact. This is different than the trend we've seen in most of the storms we've had uh, this season where the eastern end of Long Island, uh, Suffolk County and, and, and particularly the east end has gotten hit harder. Uh, so we've uh, gotten a little bit of a break here, but I want to, uh, you know, caution people who uh, look out the window, see that the roads are, are passable, that there isn't significant accumulation on the roads, that those roads are still uh, slick and icy. What we've had falling here is this icy, uh, wintry mix of uh, snow, sleet, ice, rain, 
um, and it is creating very slick conditions out there. Uh, I've been uh, out on the roadways uh, with the police commissioner uh, for the, the past couple of hours traveling throughout uh, the county and you know we have seen more accumulation on the, the northern part of the county uh, as opposed to the south shore uh, but roads are passable. Uh, we encourage people to stay off the roads. We're still uh, as we said, uh, facing some uncertainty. There are still some reports that uh, the, the wintry mix in portions of the county may turn back to snow. We're still expecting high winds, uh, high gusts uh, to be occurring uh, this morning. So very uh, tough conditions out here. The storm is obviously not uh, as uh, uh, significant in terms of snow accumulation as predicted. Uh, yesterday morning, uh, we were talking about uh, potentially uh, based on the predictions uh, up to 18 up to two feet even in parts of the county uh, we're likely now to be looking at uh, up to six to eight inches uh, in uh, parts of the county less so on the south shore and on the east end but still very difficult driving conditions out there wet slick icy uh, roads and we caution people uh, if you don't have to be on the roads please stay off uh, if you do you need to uh, drive with uh, extreme caution. Uh, we are still concerned about coastal flooding, uh, even on the northwestern uh, portion of the county, North Shore, we, we hadn't considered that much of an issue. That is uh, now something we are watching, coastal flooding there as well as along the South Shore and uh, at Peconic. Uh, we are uh, obviously still focused on erosion and, and seeing what the impacts there, although we think they'll be uh, less so at this point. We have a number of uh, county agencies and facilities that are closed. All of our health centers are closed today. Bus service is suspended for the day. Our traffic parking violations agency uh, suspended. Uh, Department of Labor activities off-site as well as the one-stop uh, employment center uh, scheduled activities are canceled for today uh, as well. Uh, we're encouraging people again Although the commission will talk about call volumes, um, that uh, if you have a non-emergency that you would call 631-852-COPS, uh, COPS. You can certainly call the Office of Emergency Management uh, at 631-852-4900 if you have any in issues. Our Emergency Operations Center has been open since uh, very early uh, this morning. We are coordinating with other agencies, but as I said, it, uh, it appears that uh, our uh, colleagues to the west uh, and to the north are getting more of the brunt of this storm. Uh, but again, we encourage people to take uh, extreme caution out there given the icy, slick, and wet conditions. And I want to ask the police commissioner if he could uh, talk a little bit uh, more about that uh, issue. Commissioner? <coughs> so despite the fact that we have not received the snow accumulation uh, initially anticipated, the roads out there are dangerous. They're extremely slick. Uh, so we are still we are still warning motorists uh, to stay off the roads if possible. And if you are on, if you are on the roads, drive with caution, reduce speed, extra space between you and other motorists. It appears that uh, many folks uh, listen to the warnings and uh, have stayed off the roads, which is a good thing because it allows the plows and the emergency vehicles to do their job so we appreciate everyone's cooperation with that uh, again uh, despite the fact that we don't, we're not seeing the snow right now the roads are uh, very slick uh, call volume is actually below average and that's because uh, folks are listening uh, they're staying off the roads we have approximately 10 motor vehicle crashes uh, from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, three of which occurred in the same incident uh, by exit 55 on Sunrise Highway. Uh, so uh, certainly the roads are slick. Our warning remains the same. If you can stay off the roads, if you're on the roads, use common sense, reduce speeds, extra distance between you and other motorists. And uh, we appreciate everyone's cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. So again, uh, we are still in the middle of the storm. There is still some uncertainty. There uh, is the possibility that uh, some of this switches back to snow, more accumulation occurs, high winds still in the morning. So you're looking at, you know, very difficult 
uh, dangerous in, in many ways, driving conditions. So we urge uh, people to stay off the roads uh, if they can uh, and to take caution if uh, you need to go out. Uh, and with that, we'll take any questions anyone has. Yeah. Well, the greatest concern right now is is the conditions of the roadways. It's very slick, very icy, um, and it's dangerous for motorists. So, you know, we're urging people to stay off. If they have to be out on the roads, you have to take extreme caution in these kind of conditions. And so even with the, with the snow, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you know, those conditions, you know, changing from, from snow to a wintry mix, ice, you know, create really slick conditions out on the roadway. And they're actually deceptive because you, you, it masks any of the accumulation that's out there. So it looks like it's uh, safer, but actually can be even a little uh, more dangerous because it's icy and slick. It's, it's always a danger. We're always concerned. You don't see the uh, accumulation out on the roadway, and there's a tendency to think that everything's fine. It's safe to go out there, and that's why we really urge caution, because we've been out on the roadways this morning. They are slick. They are dangerous, and people need to take it easy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. We were just listening to uh, Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone as well as Commissioner Timothy Sini talking about the conditions there. And Mr. Ballone saying that actually Suffolk County is on the edge of the storm, that they have much less accumulation than had been predicted, uh, particularly throughout the whole year. If you take into account this one particularly, it needs to be more, is more westward. The, but he said the conditions are still extremely dangerous that it's passable, you can get out there, but he said uh, there is an icy, wintry mix of sleet, ice, snow, and rain, and then you throw in wind. Yeah. So you really need to still be careful, and, and the more you stay off the road, the better, the better it is for the crews. And he's saying the areas in the northwestern part of Suffolk County are going to see more snow, five to eight inches, as opposed to the east end, which might mm -hmm. only get an inch or so. And they're still looking out for potential of coastal flooding along the south shore. So people, this is still a serious storm. Uh, you know, it's not, uh, for, especially for Suffolk County, not to the extent that they first predicted, but it's still a serious storm. And he said, if you don't have to be out there, you really shouldn't be out there. Right, with the commissioner even saying since 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., they've had 10 crashes thus That's far. That's so serious. So you still can get an accident. So okay. don't have to go out. Don't go out. 822, though. One person who is out and about is meteorologist Bill Evans. He's going to give us the accurate weather. Hey, it's snowing right now as we take a look from our camera right around Lincoln Center here back to West 66th Street and Columbus Avenue. we got some good snow that is falling here. And we're going to be looking at this kind of, you know, continuing through the day. And we're going to be seeing, you know, we're just seeing the storm is still in Delaware and it's moving out into the Atlantic. So we're going to have periods where we have snow off and on. We've had about five inches of snow so far in the park. It's 28 degrees. We've got a wind out of the northeast at about 28 miles an hour. We're still looking at these uh, totals that we haven't changed a whole lot. Uh, we've kind of updated these. Lee Goldberg is here and so is Amy Freeze. We've been looking at a trace to about three inches of snow here on the far eastward where uh, Steve Vallone is talking about. And you're talking about three to six inches here in Suffolk County and into uh, Monmouth County down toward Trenton. You get just a little west of that, and then that line goes from 6 to 12, and then 12 to 18 north and west, then 18, 24, way up here around uh, the northern Hudson River Valley to the Catskills. So the blizzard warning has been changed in around the five boroughs of New York City and Bergen County and Passaic County and eastern Essex Hudson Union uh, to a winter storm warning here, still for the snow that is falling here, and that's going to go till midnight tonight. So we still have a long way to go with this system. We're still looking at the heaviest snow, ice, and rain lasting through 1 o'clock. We're looking at this mixing, which is going to equal, you know, lower totals, and we'll be looking at these whipping winds, coastal flooding, coastal beach erosion, all that with this low that is still down to our south around the Delmarva Peninsula. So temperatures, 37 Belmar, 34 out toward the east. The winds are north at about 12 to 28 miles an hour sustained, 31 now down the shore, and the wind gusts have been picking up. 
to 39 around LaGuardia Airport, 37 Newark, and 33 around JFK. So some of these winds are even higher. You see 41 Belmar in these gusts for the afternoon. Our storm center is down to our south, and now it's pushing this rain onto the south shore of Long Island with some ice, as well as up to about Coney Island. The low center is right here, just right over Delaware to Delaware Bay. It will keep moving northeastward. So it's moving slowly, so it'll just keep throwing you know, the mid-levels will keep kind of warming and creating this rain, but it'll still keep throwing this precipitation over us. And as the more it goes northeast, the more cold air kind of pulls down here. So 10 o'clock, south shore of Long Island, pretty covered here with a mixture of ice and rain. We're looking at uh, pink shades here, which is snow and kind of sleet mixed here across uh, the city at noontime to 1 o'clock. And then you see that heaviest of the snows is still off here to the north. Then as the storm pulls away, you see the rain going with that, and then there'll be some snow showers that wrap around that. The winds pick up, and it's blowing snow and very windy and cold as we go into the evening hours and overnight. So we are going to be looking at these 50-mile-an-hour winds, Hudson River Valley to the city, 50 to 60 out across Long Island, coastal Connecticut, uh, which is what Steve was talking about, Steve Malone. We're talking about also zero visibility here. Teoboro at the airport there, a mile at LaGuardia, a mile out toward Farmingdale, Long Island, zero Morris Town up the Hudson River Valley. So some treacherous travel here. The other part of this is the wind gusts. As you see, as we go into the afternoon, we're looking at 60 mile an hour wind gusts here. I had a Montauk. This is our low right here. You see the wind profiles wrapping around? So that throws in all this wind and waves into the beach here, down the Jersey Shore and the New York beaches. And as the low starts to cut across Long Island, right here in Suffolk County, it'll just move right on across Rhode Island, eastern Massachusetts, and out toward Maine. We still will be in that wind tomorrow at 25, 30 miles an hour, and some gusty winds will be across. Now, there still is the problem with heavy rain and snow mixed and wind that you're going to have some power outages here. So we'll be watching that closely as the low exits, and then it's kind of blowing and drifting snow and rather cold tomorrow. We'll talk more about the, the cold weather for the rest of the week coming up in our AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Ken, Lori, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Bill. And we are, oh, this is another look at uh, Road Cam 7. Take a look at uh, the conditions on the roadways there. Really picking up, as Bill was talking mm -hmm. about, the snow. But right now, we want to take a look at Tagboard. These are some of the pictures and videos that our wonderful viewers sent in to us. Uh, you can see, I love the dog in the upper left. I do, too. Right. I do, so too. Cute. Nothing like it. And we want to see what the conditions are like where you are throughout the tri-state as long as it's safe for you to take the pictures of the videos. All you have to do is send it via hashtag ABC7NY. You can do it via Twitter, via Instagram, or, of course, via Facebook. Another yeah. doggy. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. Cute. We're going to take a brief break, but our continuing coverage of this blizzard snowstorm will continue. Stay with us. <laughs>